Okay, good question about the boundaries of others and not okay thank you and not to get caught up in confrontation with some family members or friends that may be very uh, vocal in their opinions okay thank you ah okay thank you already they just turned and said to me yes there can be those in your lives uh how they think about so strongly of their viewpoint and where they come from and to trigger off emotions internally within you this also could be just tapping in as you know already this could be also tapping into that younger child that younger part of yourself that was triggered by them once before or how they feel or think but yes it is our role okay that is with the boundaries we said this before that is also with the boundaries we're putting boundaries in place that we then do not want to be pulled into losing our energy so the boundaries do not need to be that you push back and you say look do, don't talk to me like this but the boundaries also can be set by yourself by saying this i am aware that they're triggering me all the emotions i'm feeling right now but i am not engaging with this and you step back and in that you then disempower what was connected to the momentum of what they were saying or how they react okay thank you um, they're sort of saying to me, they're going to the throat, at this point on the planet, there could be many of those that will be the verbal and vocal and their voices um, shouting louder, barking, they just said, louder than trying to bark at many others to bark them down into the space. It's when you then engage in that, then you then disempower yourselves by just to acknowledge that you are unhappy with how you're being treated or how you're feeling in, in itself. It's those emotions. It's always through your emotions that your soul needs to hear. Like a, it keeps stock of the lesson or the teaching of what you may be hearing at this particular time. That is why that you've come with the emotions. Your soul needs to acknowledge the emotions. Oh, by acknowledging the emotions of how they're making you feel, this in itself is the lesson that you needed to learn. So it's not that you have to be vocal to them and, and scream and shout at them or to tell them how you're feeling and such. But what it is sometimes is just to acknowledge this is how it's making you feel, but you will not engage with it, that you will step back. And this is nothing, it's to do with the fact that this is part of that journey with those individuals. So that seems to be important, what they just said. Okay, thank you. So you can see their story this evening is very much about trying to help you as an individual on your journey and to keep coming back to yourself. Really, really important about taking time for you and learning about working with your empathic side of you. And if you're not too sure about that, it's about developing that side of you and working with your intuition, your natural gifted abilities. Now, working with your natural gifted abilities, the intuition is very much about putting out the questions to them, asking them to show you signs, asking them to interact with you, and then so you can start seeing the difference and start working with them.